G'day Ziggy D here with some Path of Exile news. Well guys, probably the largest exploit ever in Path of Exile history was discovered today. On stream, Gouda and a few buddies were testing out uh, some craziness, which is what Gouda typically does, and uh, they discovered that using an interesting combination of skill gems and socketing and unsocketing stuff, I'm not going to go into specific details of what exactly they were doing, but using an interesting combination of things, they were able to force the server to crash their game, or their game to crash, which would cause a short rollback on that character, so it would roll them back to a previous state, uh, you know, a minute or so before they had done this thing. Now, in sort of testing this, a uh, little bit of an exploit here, they discovered a much greater exploit that was available out of this, that you could actually use currency items to craft an item, and then if you didn't like the result, you could perform this rollback, rollback exploit to get the item back to its original state. Yeah. So for those of you guys who are not really sure what is the big deal about that, what's, what's the big deal about this, this means that you could essentially take one exalt orb and keep exalting an item until it was literally perfect, and you would never have to respend more than that one exalt orb. You could spend 500 exalts worth of crafting with just one exalt orb by using the rollback. You don't get the stat you want. You really want that five thorns roll for your item. You want to get that perfect thorns roll. Well, you can exalt rollback, exalt rollback, exalt rollback until you get that perfect thing. Gouda also uh, tested out with vile orbs, tons of other things. Worked with just about anything you could vile a plus one to Poodle Rasta if you wanted to, or chevrons or anything like that, and roll back the server if you didn't get the result. If you bricked your item, if you bricked your drill neck with a vile orb, you could roll back the server and just have another crack at crafting it. So obviously that is absolutely massive. I got onto uh, the guys on GGG on Skype, Chris, Rory, and Carl, and uh, they said that they uh, already know about it. They've been working on it since this morning. And uh, thankfully, because this is something that when something like this happens, you think, wow, how many people have known about this and kept it secret and been exploiting this for a very long time? Like, this is huge. This could have a big impact on the game. And now that it's so public and widespread, you know, you're worried about, like, the potential implications this is going to have on, like, crashing the game economy and things like that. Well, the good news is that the guys at GGG said that they are quite aware um, of uh, who has been doing it. It's very easy for them to track, so they are currently uh, locking all accounts that have been using this. So they're just doing a blanket lock across anyone who is performing this crash. So before you get out and think about crafting your own Uber items with this exploit, just keep in mind, you might well lose your account. And yes, I did get Gouda, Gouda banned, pretty much. <laughs> I didn't mean to get him banned. I just wanted to make sure the GG guys knew about this, but uh, Gouda's account was locked shortly after showing off this exploit. And I suppose that is the risk you take when you are streaming an exploit, that your account will be locked. But uh, I am sure that GGG will reverse the lock on Gouda's account. I mean, he was clearly not using this for personal gain. He just discovered something, which is what Gouda often does. He's known for this sort of thing, discovering different interesting things and showing them to people. And that's what he did. I don't think there was any harm uh, intended there. So I'm sure that his account will be unlocked uh, in short order once the guys sort out this problem. So uh, I'm expecting that we get some sort of rollback on this, or at the very least that they have locked all accounts associated with this particular exploit, because otherwise GGG wasn't getting a good handle on this, which it does sound like they are. If they weren't getting a good handle on this, it would be extremely screwed up for the Path of Exile economy. There would be no trust in uh, a lot of the crafting people have done. You know, imagine imagine if someone, you, you finally manage, after spending 500 exalts and eternals, to craft your perfect GG dagger, and you show it to the community, you're proud of this thing you've worked on, and, and, and then everyone's just like, yeah, you just, you just used the exploit, didn't you? And th there'd be no trust there anymore. So I do hope that this is fixed and very completely like GGG's. Like, yeah, it's extremely easy for us to see each person that was doing this. And that does sound like the case from what Chris has said to me so far. So uh, that's the good news. But uh, pretty interesting stuff to see all this sort of play out and like, wow, just sort of mind-blowing that such a large exploit could kind of sneak its way into the game and kind of be relatively undiscovered because Chris said that only a few people had actually used the exploit before now, so very few people, and uh, they have locked their accounts, so kind of surprising. But anyway, guys, hopefully you found this news interesting. That's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.